crows can recognize faces, they're able to reason about the actions of humans, they're able to use tools. And so, I mean, the reason I work with the particular species I do, the New Caledonian crow, is because it makes some of the most sophisticated tools on the planet. It makes tools that are even more sophisticated than those of chimpanzees. So this really makes the species stand out. The fact that it's able to carve little hooks out of wood and use them to pull grubs out of holes is something that no other species, aside from ourselves, has figured out how to do. One of the most surprising and nicest things a crow's ever done is actually started bringing back some of the tools and some of the objects that I was doing when an experiment with. So we had a piece of research where the crow would drop some stones into a tube in order to bring water within reach. And the meat was positioned on a, uh, a wooden float. And normally the crows would just fly off with this float and it would drop into the sand. But what the crow would do would fly back and put it on the table each time for me so that I would then would be able to set up the experiment quicker. So it made my life far easier and I really felt like I was cooperating and working with the crow to do the science rather than just me do all the work. They perform these amazing behaviors that are really intriguing, but we don't quite know yet exactly how they think and whether we're kind of dealing with kind of an alien type of intelligence that thinks very differently from us or something that sim thinks quite similarly to maybe a small child. Winning the prize is something I'm incredibly proud of. It's really going to give me an opportunity with my research to start understanding the intelligence of our native species. I'm particularly interested in working with the New Zealand kia, which, as we all know, does lots of mischievous uh, behaviours in the wild, but we haven't really started understanding how it thinks. And so there is one research group in Austria that's been working with the species, but it'd be really nice if actually uh, New Zealanders could actually be studying the species as well and really trying to understand uh, how the species around us in nature actually think.